Hello guys, welcome to my new Jenshin Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about Xiao's F2P build. I'm gonna talk about everything from artifacts to weapon, each and every artifacts and each and every weapon with gameplay showcase, which with damage showcase. So guys, stay tuned till the end. We're gonna talk about everything related to Xiao, the team, the characters, everything, the weapon, artifact, constellations, everything. So stay tuned till the end. Hey okay guys, so okay, you already seen a loss of Shaw hitting over one leg damage with a single plunge attack, and that's very very huge uh, for a character like Shaw. They're hitting one leg damage in one hit, and you can actually hit 12 to 13 plunge attacks in Shaw's elemental burst. And if your one elemental uh, one plunge hit or one leg damage that's gonna be very huge. Your Shaw can easily go around six to la six to seven leg damage in one burst so guys with a uh, with a five star weapon or with a proper uh, pay to win build you can easily go with one lakh damage like giving a staff of over weapon a very strong weapon and giving the best artifacts with the strat like this 254 crit damage you can easily hit one lakh crit damage but what about uh, what about when you build your shao fully have to be friendly like giving the F2P weapon here like wave breaker, missive wind spare, and the catch, anything, anything F2P. So first of all, guys, let's talk about the artifacts. The best of F2P artifacts you can go is the two-piece Shiminawa and two-piece Gladiator. Gladiator, you can get Gladiator, lots of gla gla Gladiator by killing the world bosses, and you. You have to kill the world bo world bosses in order to level up your character. So gladiator is the thing that you can get you can get very easily. And then the second artifact is the Shimenawa. In my opinion, Shimenawa artifacts is the easiest domain that you can get. The RNG system in the Shimenawa's domain, I guess, is the most efficient compared to the other domain so you can get the artifacts very easily so in my opinion giving two piece shimenawa and two piece gladiator to show is comparatively easy compared to other sets but the other sets are very 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 good for show like if i talk about this new artifact that gives in two piece any more damage bonus and four piece it gives 40% extra plunge attack damage for 15 seconds and shows ults uh, Shaw animal elemental burst chase for 15 seconds, but this is this is in the four piece artifact. And as of being F2P, if you're building your any character DPS, any Shaw, any DPS character F2P, the giving her giving that character four piece set is hard compared to the two piece two piece. So in my opinion, if you want to build your Shaw uh, F2P friendly, the two piece Shimenawa and two two piece Glad is gonna be the most easiest way or you can go with two piece very descent or two piece this desert pavilion and two piece uh any any two piece artifacts is gonna be very very good so that's that's for the artifact that you you can give to show as being a f2p player okay guys so what's the main strat what's the main strat and sub strat you have to uh, look for when building Shaw, substrate is gonna be the crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Crit rate is gonna be the highest priority. You have to have a seven minimum 70% crit rate on Shaw. Otherwise, your Shaw not gonna deal any kind of damage. The crit is the main problem with Shaw. So you need to have like minimum minimum 70% crit rate on Shaw. If uh, doesn't matter you are a F2P or not, you have to have a 70% crit rate on Shao. Then the second thing is crit damage and the third thing is attack. These And the fourth thing is energy recharge. These four things in substrate is going to be very important for Shao. In flower, HP, in feather, attack and in sands, attack as well as and you have to find crit rate, crit damage. In goblet, any more damage and crit rate, crit damage than in encircle it whatever you need more if you have less crit rate give crit rate here and if you have less crit damage give crit damage here but only crit and crit damage gonna be the main strat in goblet in circle it yes not not goblet in circle it yes that's all for the artifact guys let's move on to the weapon we have to give a free free uh, free weapon as well as a four star weapon. The free weapon is gonna be a miss, missive win spell. It's a free weapon, and 
this weapon is not the ideal weapon but you this weapon works on Shao and you can give this weapon to Shao so this weapon is going to be one option then next option is the wave breaker third option is going to be the catch and the fourth option and the final option I guess is going to be the lithic spear lithic spear the catch wave breaker and the missive wind spear these are the four f2p weapons that you can give to your Shao in order to deal the highest possible damage as being a f2p player oh yeah this is my f2p Shao uh, with the f2p weapon not having crit rate cut damage as the main strat two piece you may have a two piece gladiator with the set bonus and no constellation the talents are on max triple crown the strats is that are 70 percent crit and 188 crit damage as i already told before the crit is going to be the main important thing here and minimum of 70 percent crit is needed and you have to uh, get a little 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 crit uh, energy recharge also here 120 to 1 120 to 140 energy recharge going to be sufficient for sure so i'm having 133 energy recharge here with the 46 percent and nemo damage bonus okay guys team also i'm using f2p friendly team fully f2p friendly team i'm using shangling here using Faruzan here and using bannet here of course i'm having the constellations my bannet is on c5 my shangling is also on c5 and Faruzan is on c2 i'm using bannet because of the attack buff attack bannet gives a lot of attack bonus in his elemental bust Faruzan gives a nemo damage bonus and a nemo resonance decrease uh, Farzan gives around 60% animo damage bonus. Uh, let's check. Uh, but Farzan giving here 30% animo damage bonus and giving 30% animo rest decrease. So that's equals to 60% animo damage bonus. So Farzan gives 60% animo damage bonus. And why I am having Shangling here because of the pyro resonance. And pyro resonance gives you extra 25% attack as I'm having the two pyro character in my team So this is going to be your team. This is going to be your team for sure This is the f2p friendly team guys. Do you don't need any constellations here? You don't need any uh, Any bandit constellations here or you don't need any uh, Shangling constellations here, but uh, you want to need c2 constellation of Faruzan. Why because uh, Faruzan elemental burst last up to only 12 seconds that's a uh, pretty low for Shao. Shao's elemental burst lasts up to 15 seconds so if you manage to get c2 constellation yeah uh, uh, Faruzan elemental burst duration increased by six seconds that's equals to 80 percent 18 seconds duration and that's going to be very good for Shao. so that's all for the team guys for the weapons for the uh, artifacts so let's see which weapons gives the highest damage. Okay, like let's start with the wave breaker fin. Wave breaker fin. Why I'm using wave breaker fin on Shao? Because wave breaker fin gives a lots of lots of attack here. Having a 620 base attack with 13.8% uh, substrat, but the the passive ability, the refinement ability is very very good for every point of entire party combined maximum energy capacity. The elemental burst of the da elemental burst damage of the character equipping this weapon is increased by 0.24 percent. A maximum of 80 percent elemental damage burst can be achieved this way. So guys, if if your party having a loss of lots of energy that's all combined can convert into Shao's burst damage bonus as as you already using Bandit for Ruzan Shangling in order to get this fully uh, you need around 1800 energy in your team my Bandit having 200 energy here my Faruzan having over 200 energy here that equals to 600 and my Shangling also having uh, almost almost 200 200 energy recharge here that equals to over 1800 and my Shao also having 133 energy recharge here that equals to guys over 800 damage so we are getting maximum out of this refinement ability 80 percent increase elemental damage burst damage bonus so that's why i'm using wave breakers in the next weapon i'm gonna use the missive wind spare same reason missive wind spare also gave very high damage very high attack if i equip this 
can already see this weapon also getting the around same attack that wave breaker giving me wave breaker also giving me around 25 uh, 2488 uh, attack here and missive wins is also giving me around same damage here same attack here that's the low compared to the staff of homer staff of homer oh that's the that's the almost almost the same compared to staff of homer staff of homer, homer also giving me also giving me the same damage next two weapon i'm gonna use the catch and uh, sadly i'm not gonna use a lithic spare because my lithic spare is on 20 level here but i can tell you guys uh, lithic spare is, uh, can also work but you have to take a full lewd team with you in order to get maximum out of this weapon but in this case in this current team i'm only using shangling that's from liue other uh, banner is from monster and Faruzan is from liue uh, sorry sumeru so that's this weapon is not gonna come uh, work in the current team but these three weapons gonna definitely work i'm using cash because cash giving 12 percent created here and 32 percent elemental damage bonus cash going to be your last option as f2p but uh, missive wins fair and wave breaker fin Lithic Spare is going to be your top three, uh, top three options. Okay, right, guys. One last thing. If you have any, if you are having any doubt about this team and you are thinking to use or you are planning to use any other player support players with Shao, I guess that's uh, that's not gonna be your best option. I'm using Bennett here for two reasons banner gives a lot of attack bonus and the higher you having attack on shaw your shaw is gonna give maximum damage like with this 2488 attack and when you uh, when you deploy element uh, banner elemental burst your shaw's attack can get over 4000 your uh, shaw can achieve up to 4000 attack and that's gonna be very very insane and also banner can heal your shaw as you as you already know shaw HP depletes in her uh, in his uh, elemental burst and Faruzan is going to be very idle option because he she is the only animal buffer in the game and you can replace Shangling in this case and use any other pyro character like Shinian, Thoma or any pyro character to uh, uh, to get pyro resonance and those 20 extra 25 percent attack or if you don't want to get those 25 extra percent attack you can use any other character like you can go for Baal and, or you can go for Yunjin you can go for any other support character you wish to go like you can also go with Mona but these two Bannet and Faruzan going going to be your permanent option for Shao's team because Bannet and Faruzan is needed in order to get maximum out of Shao. You're getting higher crit, 
higher attack with this weapon because of the passive ability. You are getting extra 300, 200, 300 attack here. Oh yeah, so officially catch is the weakest here catch is the weakest here so no point of testing catch uh, with another boss i guess catch is the weakest here but still i think catch did did some decent job there the only drawback we are having here is around three to four hundred attack that we are getting uh, here like but we are getting ma uh, much higher like 12 percent crit rate but the attack is the main issue is uh, main issue here guys the lithic pair also perform around same as what wave what wave breaker or missive wind spear did lithic spear gives you a loss of attack and in the passive also if you're having full luve team you can get uh, around uh, around 10 to 12 percent crit rate and uh, lots of lots of attack here around 20 25 to 20 to 25 percent 20 to 30 percent uh, you know you can get around 28 percent i guess 28 percent attack here and around uh, 12 percent crit rate with this passive and you all are already getting a loss of attack from base attack and substrat but i think the um for me the best f2p uh, weapon is going to be the wave breaker because wave breaker giving the insane amount of attack and also giving 80 percent uh, elemental burst damage bonus here so this is going to be my perfect but missive winds were also performed very close to uh, what wave breaker did you can easily hit uh, with 70k or 80k with one plunge with the strat uh, if you manage to get around 210 or 220 crit damage i think you can go to one lakh crit da one lakh crit hit like one lakh damage with one plunge you i'm already hitting around 70k and 80k uh, damage with one plunge with the strat so I think you can go with uh, up to one lakh if you manage to get the higher crit damage uh, around 210 to 220. So as yes, this is the video. This is the maximum you can get with a F2P show. You can go, you can get around 80 uh, thousand uh, damage with one in one plunge easily as 188 crit damage maintaining 188 crit damage is not that hard in, the, in this game compared to what we are uh, dealing with in this game so guys this is the build uh, you can follow this build as shaw is returning in lenten right shaw having a another rerun i guess uh, fourth uh, rerun in next uh, lenten right the chinese new year and guys happy lenten right in advance and guys yes you can build your show amazing show with this easy build Com comparatively easy and yes guys thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video you can hit the like button and 
if you don't like the video you think this video is bad you can dislike the video no problem and guys subscribe you can subscribe to my channel for more genshi related video in the future and guys if you think i said something wrong and or i miss something like some weapon and in this video you, you can comment below and share your thoughts share your opinion till then guys we'll meet in the next video till then take care happy winters happy lent and ride and take care guys we'll meet in the next video